First up, we hit Hydrant Food Hall, a top spot in the Ballarat cafe scene. So we ordered some of their delicious meals to see what all the fuss is about. Bit of crackle. With the of the crackle. Back in the 1800s, so this is um, pretty much how it was like in the gold rush days in Ballarat in the 1850s when gold was everything and people from around the world came here to pan for gold and become millionaires. So, um, Can we do that too? Maybe. I want to be a millionaire. Yeah, let's become millionaires, why not? If you made it all the way down to Ballarat without going to Sovereign Hill, then it would be a damn shame as it's one of the most unique experiences you could have. It's like stepping straight into the 1800s gold rush era, complete with horse-drawn carriages, weaving across town with the backdrop of the stores in the older days. It's really cool. It's like and a... And people dressed up as well too. Oh yeah. How odd it must have been for the actors just to walk around acting like they're back yeah. in the day. They have guns here. Do they? That's so funny, they're like in character. <laughs> They're in characters there. <laughs> okay, so this is the gold mine tour section. So that's the one that you, um, I think, I'm not sure actually if that's the one, but the one I did was, um, yeah, a mine tour and you get on a, a ride that looks like a roller coaster and it takes you to the mine. And it's really cool, but if you're claustrophobic, it might be a bit too much but it's really fun right? there are many activities and places to see while you're down there including checking out how the houses were back in those times mm. <gasps> it's lovely. but if you think about it the house doesn't look that different to the current house yeah this looks like just a house you can find in Brunswick yeah it is really in fact Brunswick houses are probably older with mm. a funny carpet. This was the kitchen. They also have a session where they show you how they pour the gold and make it into a gold bar. That is still uh, a little bit over 1,000 degrees inside of that crucible. That's a ah! <laughs> that is 100 troy ounces, 99.99% pure gold. Troy ounces is 31.1 grams. Quite a bit heavier than the standard or imperial ounce, which is 28.4. So it's a little bit over 3 kilograms of pure gold. For an Australian dollars at today's price, you're looking at uh, a little bit over 220 thousand dollars in that bar there. Okay, so let's see what bowling is like in the 1850s. <laughs> Go on. I feel like it, this process is exactly the same way as it is um, in the modern world but the difference is uh, there's no automated balls so you have to go up to the um, the last end of the uh, um, alley and then you gotta grab the ball and roll them back that didn't make it Imagine instead of buying a new car, this is like your new thing that you're buying. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Look, imagine sitting up there. It's like a, a Cinderella. Mm. Yeah, look at that one. I like that one. That's cool. The it's black literally, one. it's... Do you know what it is? What? Do you know what it is? It's Bridgerton. Bridgerton? We're in Bridgerton land. They should make a Bridgerton land, don't you think? Oh, the wagon wheel looks so good. We've got to try that. How are you today? Good, thanks. 
Thank you. Can I grab two wagon wheels? Oh, look at this wagon wheel. It's so homemade. It's homemade. Oh, there's jam in there. You can tell. Legit. I could barely fit it in my mouth. It's so massive. Mmm. What about marshmallow? <laughs> This is a full-on wagon wheel. That's crazy. Looks pretty good. It's so yummy. It's filling. It's big. It's heavy. Mm. Definitely stop in to the bakery and have a wagon wheel. One of my favorite things to do there is painting for gold, where you can find little specks of gold and keep it for yourself. Pretty cool. You're confident? To get some gold? Is it hard? Mm. Is this how you're supposed to be doing it? I don't know. <laughs> no luck this time around, though, I think. None. Oh, see that, that, these ones? That one there, see? Oh yeah, this is not big enough for us to be a millionaire though. I know. Okay, so once you touch the Umbrella Street, you can find this bar. So we're gonna have some beer tasting and then we're moving on to another place. Let's go! Hop Temple is right in the middle of town and it's a great place for some craft beers with plenty of different beers on tap to choose from. IPA. Ooh, that one's got like a bit of a sweet kick to it actually. Auntie Jack's was one of my favourite places we visited in Ballarat. It's got great atmosphere at night and so we decided to soak it up with some delicious meals and a few Aperol spritz. So here we are at Auntie Jack's enjoying my Aperol spritz which we had a lot of in Italy. <sighs> Refreshing. Make sure to take in the lovely colonial buildings all around the town centre. So while in Ballarat, of course you've got to go to the art gallery. Look at the beautiful building too. It's so lovely. So we'll go check it out now. The art gallery of Ballarat is a wonderful building filled with creativity and lovely art pieces. It's more than just paintings though, with heaps of interesting sculptures and spaces that are filled with rotating local artists as well as the section with the permanent collections. It's definitely a place you must visit while you're down here. We're at Bebo Cafe. Look at this croque monsieur. Wow. It's the most fancy croque monsieur I think I've ever been served. You think? So good. I didn't expect the ham to be that kind of ham, like the real deal. Mm. That's good. So we stayed in this place, and one of the great things that comes with complimentary breakfast, but also it's like really close to town. If you're staying in Ballarat, I definitely highly recommend staying at just above Bebo Cafe, and you can find them on Airbnb, so we'll put down a link in the description. Lake Windery is a popular spot for locals and tourists alike, where you'll see people having picnics by the lake and plenty of dogs being walked. Just across the road you have the Ballarat Botanical Gardens where it's a good place to pick up a plant or two. Thanks so much for joining us guys, we absolutely love this city, we hope you enjoyed our things to do in Ballarat and we'll see you guys next time.